is the time to do it. It feels like the end of the world. Eye contact, ex-boyfriends, ex-lovers, ex-friends. X, X, X marks the G spot. This could be the last time I ever have sex. I contact David. We arrange to see each other on Friday. I book eyebrows, wax, the works. The day work closes, I see Chris. He wants me. We drink wine and flirt about the idea of going to his. Joke about getting drugs and then get them. We spend hours doing lines and listening to songs, our desert island songs. It really is the end of the world. I love his personality, his mind. He says he wants to kiss me. I say, so kiss me, like a 1930s Hollywood actress. He does. I feel this should be a love letter to his dick, B-L-L, -L, before lockdown life. I mean, my God, I say, talking to my friend and holding up a banana. Legit, this is it. Look at that curve. Was it really that good? Oh my God, yes, I say. But then I consider, how would I really know? I was on drugs. Jack wants pictures. Oh my God, you're so hot, he says. Not an unusual response to anyone's nudes, but it does feel more intense now, more desperate. Life in lockdown. Life with both all and absolutely no content. He doesn't need to know how long I've spent getting into that picture angling myself within an inch of my life. And what do I get in response? An aubergine, a winky face. Day 9,670, whatever day in lockdown it is. A typical Thursday. My housemate being sent flowers, love letters, poems, by a guy she's never even met. <sighs> Me? Oh, I get dick pics.